Welcome to this lesson on factoring trinomials where a equals 1. So remember a trinomial is a polynomial with three terms. And here's a trinomial in standard form. And as you can see, it has one, two, three terms. All right, so let's go over the steps. So a equals one means that there will be no coefficient of a, meaning you're just gonna have x squared as your first term, or it could be another variable, y squared, same thing. So you have an example here, x squared plus six x plus eight. So there's no coefficient in front of x, it's, it's one, so you don't have to list it. So the first thing that you're gonna do is list the factors of c. So this is a, b, and c, the coefficients, or c is a constant. So we're going to list the factors of c, that constant. So the factors of 8 would be, let's see, 1 times 8, 2 times 4, and that is all. Those are all the numbers that will multiply together to give you 8. Next, we're going to find a pair of factors that we listed from number 1, the factors of c, and we want those factors to add or subtract to give us b, that coefficient of 6. So let's see, 1 plus 8, that's not going to give me 6. 2 plus 4 is going to give me 6. So those are the factors that I want. That's the pair I want. And then the last step is we're going to open up two parentheses. And we're going to list our factors. So x and x are going to go first. And then these factors will go next, so plus 2 and plus 4, because positive 2 and positive 4 add up to give us 6. You could have also listed it as x plus 4 and then x plus 2. That's the same thing. It doesn't matter the order as long as you get your signs correct. Okay, so let's check here. Let's distribute back and make sure. So let's see, x times x, that's x squared. x times 4, that's 4x. 2 times x, that's 2x. 2 times 4, that's 8. We have like terms in the middle, 4x plus 2x, that's 6x. So those are our factors that we found, and we wanted it to add up to 6, and it did. And then bring everything else down. And that is what we started with, so we did it correctly. All right, so let's continue on. So the first example, we want to start by listing the factors of 27. So 1 times 27, 3 times 9, looks like that's it. And then step 2, which pair is going to add or subtract to give me positive 12? Well, 1 plus 27 is 28. That's not going to work. 3 plus 9, that is 12, so 3 and 9. And then lastly, we're going to open up our parentheses. So it's going to be x times x, because that's going to give us this x squared. And then positive 3, positive 9. Or you could have listed 9 and then 3. And then you can go back and check. So let's see, that's x squared plus 9x plus 3x. I'm just distributing, multiplying. 3 times 9 is 27. That's 6x, or sorry, that's 9x plus 3x is 12x plus 27. Bring down this, and that is what we started with. All right. Next we have 20. So the factors of 20 are 1 and 20, 2 and 10. 3 won't go into it, 4 and 5. So notice I'm not really worried about the signs right now. I'm just worried about the number 20. Now, on step 2, this is where you need to focus on the signs because we have a negative 1x that we're trying to get to. So I need to figure out, are any of these numbers going to add or subtract to give me a negative 1? Well, 1 plus 20, that's 21. 1 minus 20, that's negative 19. That's not going to work. 2 plus 10 is 12, 
2 minus 10 is negative 8. 4 plus 5 is 9. That's not going to work. But 4 minus 5, that's negative 1. 4 and negative 5. And make sure those will multiply to give you negative 20. And they do. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. So lastly, x and x. And I want a positive 4 and a negative 5. Or you could have written negative 5 and positive 4. But you have to have the signs correct. That negative needs to go with a 5 because it's 4 plus negative 5 that's going to give you that negative 1. And that's our final answer. And you can go back and distribute to check if you want. All right, number 3. So the factors of 30, that's 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, 4 won't go into it, 5 and 6. All right, the numbers that will add to give me 11 would be 5 and 6. So x plus 5 and x plus 6. All right, pause the video and try the last three by yourself. Okay, let's see how we did. So factors of 16, 1 and 16, 2 and 8, 3 won't go into it, 4 and 4. So the numbers that are going to add or subtract to give me 6, well, 1 plus 16 is 17, 1 minus 16, nope, 2 plus 8 is 10, nope, but 2 minus 8, that's negative 6, I'm closer. What if we did negative 2 and positive 8? That would work. Negative 2 plus 8 is positive 6. Negative 2 times 8 is negative 16. So that one's going to work. So x minus 2, x plus 8. And remember, you can also write it like this. That means the same thing. So if you got that as your answer, you still got it correct. All right, number 5. Let's see, factors of 27, 1 and 27, 3 and 9. Let's see, that is all. So numbers that are going to add to give me 13 or subtract. So 1 plus 27, 28. 1 minus 27, that's negative 26. We're not anywhere close, so let's move on. 3 and 9, that's 12. Close, but not 13. 3 minus 9, no. Negative 3 plus 9, no. It looks like none of these are going to work to give me that negative 13. And that sometimes will happen. So in this case, you just put it can't be factored. Not every trinomial can be factored. So that's your answer. Can't be factored. All right, and then number six, let's see. Factors of nine, one and nine, three and three. Which one is going to give me negative six? Let's see. What if I did negative three minus three? That will give me negative six. Negative 3 times negative 3, that gives me my positive 9, so those are going to work. x minus 3 and x minus 3. And because you have the same binomial times itself, you can actually write this as a binomial squared. So that would be your final answer. Alright, you can stop the video now and complete your practice.